What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skull Tricks and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to build the best 5 foot 7 2 way tempo pusher in NBA 2K21 Now I'm not going to lie to y'all and say this build is made for comp or whatever because it's really not It's really more of a troll build that's really fun to play on So if you're really trying to be competitive and play in the stage or something this probably isn't the build for you But if you're just trying to have fun in NBA 2K21 this is definitely the build for you So without further ado let's get right into the video here All right, so on this first screen, nothing much really matters. The only thing that's important is you want the position to be point guard, name, jersey number, hand, none of that matters. Then you can go ahead and click continue. Then for the pie chart, you're gonna to wanna to take this one right here, pure defense, the pure lockdown one. You can see what your stats are looking like right there. Don't focus too much on those. They're gonna change a lot, but take this one right here, pure defense. Then for the physicals profile, you're gonna to wanna to take this one, strength and vertical. Now, just trust me on this, just trust me. You're gonna get max speed anyways, so you might as well take this one. There's no point in taking the speed one. When you're gonna end up with a 95 speed with this build anyways, and if you run the treadmill, it'll be 99. So you might as well take this one, get as much strength and vertical as possible. So that one right there, the pink and blue one. Now for the attribute distribution, first thing you wanna do for finishing, this is gonna be a really good finishing build, or really as good as a 5.7 build can be for finishing. You just wanna max out everything like that, and then bring down the post hook to a 54 right there, so you get those 15 finishing badges, and this isn't much of a shooting build, so just leave the shooting alone. Don't touch it at all, then go down to playmaking, max out pass accuracy, ball handle, and then move up post moves to a 35 right there. So you get those 10 playmaking badges. That's the perfect amount. I'm gonna show you how to put on the badges at the end of the video, but 10 is gonna be the perfect amount. Then for defense, you wanna max out all of these categories right here that I'm gonna max out. Lateral, perimeter, steal, block, both rebounds, and then put the rest into interior defense. You get 30 defense badges on this build. It is a lockdown build. Even at five foot seven, you're probably gonna surprise people with how good you could play defense. So it's really is gonna be a fun build to play on, but not exactly comp. So then you can go ahead and click confirm. Body shape doesn't matter. I'm gonna take slight just because I think it'll look the funniest with the build when it's finally made. So I'm gonna take slight right here, and then for the height. Five foot seven, just like that. You can see your defense stats are still pretty good. 95 on all the important three. Even your rebound is still a 65. You can see, like I said, your speed goes all the way up to 94. That's gonna go up to 95. And your finishing attributes are still really good. Still a 71 dunk, so you'll still be able to dunk. And that's even gonna go up a bit with wingspan, but your ball handles up to 81. This is a really, really good build considering you're only five foot seven. So you're gonna confirm it right here. For weight, you wanna go down to minimum, obviously. So you get 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Confirm that. Then for wingspan, you wanna max that out. You can see it only brings your ball handle down one but it brings up your driving dunk by three and also some of your defense stats move up so that's really good go ahead and confirm it right here at 75 inches then for the takeover doesn't matter take whatever you want i'm going to take the lockdown it really really doesn't matter and as you can see right here boom two-way tempo pusher shades of tim hardaway kyle lowry and chris paul but now i'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to put on the badges for this build it'll only take a second so make sure you stay tuned for this but right here quickly i'll show you the final attributes you can pause the video right here if you want to see them but for the badge distribution right here, contact finisher, giant slayer, obviously, because everybody's going to be taller than you, relentless, slithery, and consistent, just like that. That's how you want the finishing badges. Then for shooting, you just want to put on, I would say, slippery off ball so you can get by people easier. If people are going to be throwing you lobs, you can get around them so you don't make contact and mess up the lob. Then for playmaking, bronze dimer, gold handles for days, gold quick first step, gold unpluckable, just like that. Confirm that. And then for defense badges right here, a lot of personal preference here. I'm going to say Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Interceptor, because you do have max wingspan. Hall of Fame Intimidator, because why not? Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, again, because why not? You got 30 defense badges. Might as well get that up. Then Hall of Fame Pick Dodger, Hall of Fame Pick Pocket. And then these last six, you can really put wherever you want. I'm just going to put Chase Down Artist up to bronze, Heart Crusher onto bronze, Rim Protector onto bronze, Tireless Defender onto bronze, Defensive Leader onto bronze. And then with this last one, you can do whatever you want. I'll just move Chase down up to silver, just like that. And there you guys go. That's how you build the best five foot seven two way tempo pusher in NBA 2K21. Again, not the best build for comp situations, but a super fun build to play on. You're five foot seven, and you'll be able to dunk the ball pretty consistently, as well as being a lockdown defender. And obviously, this build has a really cool name. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and that's gonna be it. All right, peace.